بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to my channel QHE تجويد رولز with the Quran channel in English We're still under the chapter of the articulation point الحروف العربية مخارج الحروف العربية As we know we have five major areas that have 17 articulation points Total. We finished the major area here, which is the empty space in mouth and the throat, al jawf, and we finished the throat, al halq, and we finished the tongue, al lisan. You can back for all these classes. It will appear for you in row in the white circle right now. And today, inshallah, we will talk about our fourth major area, which is the lips, al-shifa. And after we finish al-shifa, we will go for our fifth major area, which is the nasal passage, al-khayshu. So watch me today to know the articulation point from al-shifa and how many letters come out from it. Al-shifatan the lips, the articulation point of the lips. We have two articulation points for four letters come out from the lips. First articulation point, there is letter fa come out from it. Our second articulation point, we have three letters out of four, it's come out from it, which is letter mim, letter waw, and letter ba. So we have two articulation points, first one for letter fa, second one for letter ba, wa, and mim. Let's go together and see letter fa. Al-Bakhraj al-Awwal, the first articulation point for letter fa. Takhruj min, it's come out from. Baqun al-Shafa al-Sufla wa atraf al-Thanaya al-Ulya. Articulated from the inside of the lower lip with the tips or edge of the upper two incisors. Let's go ahead and see it together. F, 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 F. This is the picture of letter fa, and this is the edge of the upper incisor teeth. It will be exactly in the uh, inside of the lower lip. One of the mistakes I hear here from even some teachers, they tell the student, put it in this area. This is wrong. And it's not in this area. This is wrong. This has come exactly from the we can say the place, if you put lipstick, for example, for girls, if you put lipsticks, this is the uh, end of the line of lipstick from your inside of your, your lower lip, the, this area of your lip. This is letter what? This is letter fa. So if you put it very inside, like some teachers tell the student, this is very wrong. It will affect the sound and it will make it F. Did you hear this? This is wrong. If you put it outside, it will be closer to letter mean. F. Wrong. Both of them is wrong. It will be closer to letter mean or even it will cut the voice on it, which is one of the characteristics. It's not in the fa. So letter fa is coming from the area I told you right now exactly. F. F. Okay. Very important thing here. Letter fa when I put the teeth in the lower lip, inside of the lower lip, I have to be sure I push hard with the teeth and I have to be sure the voice is very clear. Letter fa is one of the weakest letter in the Arabic. Weakest letter in the Arabic. So if you don't say F very clear, it will be disappear. The sound will be disappear. Go ahead and see some examples for it. Our first example here word, 
أفواجا or word الكهفي if I stop it will be الكهف فيه مرفقا كفوا one of the very important point here for letter فا if you are have ضمة in letter فا it's better if you uh, sound letter فا and then circle your lips for the ضمة I have to be sure I didn't say who like that right away. I don't have to be sure not circle the lips right away in this letter. I have to make fa in the regular position first of the lips and then go for the dhamma. Why? Because letter fa and letter wow or the dhamma, the daughter of the wow, both of them is coming from lips. So if I go right away and circle from the beginning, it will affect the sound of fa. So it will be instead of fu, it will be fu, fu. So this is wrong. So this is one of the uh, يعني, uh, important point. It's advanced a little bit, but inshallah, يعني, try to focus on it. Our last word here is word anfusahum. Okay, inshallah, this is clear for you. Our shahid of Jazariya for this letter, our line it tells us about this letter from Jazariya. وَمِنْ بَطَنِ الشَّفَةِ So from the inside of the lower lip. فَالْفَا مَعَ طَرَافِ الثَّنَايَ الْمُشْرِفَةِ فَالْفَا مَعَ طَرَافِ الثَّنَايَ الْمُشْرِفَةِ Letter fa is coming from the بَطَنِ الشَّفَةِ The inside of the lower lip. And the أَطْرَافِ الثَّنَايَ الْمُشْرِفَةِ Means the two in front in scissor, but the edge of it of the tip or the tip of it. The edge of it or the tip of it. So letter fa again is coming from the lower inside of lower lip with the edge of or tips of the athanaya uh, al-mushrifa means the upper in front in scissor. Upper front in scissor. By this, our lesson for today is completely done. Jazakumullah khairan to watch my channel QHE Tajweed Rules of the Quran channel in English. Insha'Allah, next time we will explain the next articulation point from the lips. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.